Osmosis is a special case of diffusion, and diffusion is a process that results entirely from the random movement of molecules. Let me illustrate first diffusion using this figure up at the top. In this figure, we have a chamber that's divided into two. On one side of the chamber, we have a high concentration of these red solute molecules, and on the other side, we have a very low concentration. Now, if this barrier, this dividing barrier, has pores that allow the passage of these red solute molecules, what happens then is that sometimes these red solute molecules, moving entirely randomly, will move through the pores to the other side. And this can happen in either direction. But since there are so many more of these red molecules on the side with a high concentration, you will get more of these going from left to right than from right to left. Over time, we will get to a situation called equilibrium, where the rate of passage from left to right of molecules is exactly balanced by the rate of passage of molecules from right to left. Now, how do we illustrate osmosis? Uh, where do we get osmosis from this diffusion process? Let's go back to this uh, top figure. But now the barrier here in the middle, let's say that this barrier is now impenetrable. It's impermeable to these red solute molecules. However, it's not a solid barrier. It is what we call a semi-permeable, shown here, a semi-permeable barrier, meaning that water molecules can cross, but the solute molecules cannot. Well, we still have a situation where we have a concentration of solute molecules that's much higher on one side than the other. The solute molecules want to diffuse to the side with a lower concentration, but they can't. And if the solute molecules can't cross, the water will go to where the solute molecules are. What you will see with time is that the water rushing from right to left will actually raise the level of water in the side with a higher concentration and lower the level of water and the side with a lower concentration. You can think of it this way, that on the side with a high concentration of solute molecules, there is actually a lower concentration of water. So osmosis is the diffusion of water molecules from a side of the membrane that has higher water concentration to a side of the membrane that has lower water concentration we can use the principle of osmosis to predict what happens to living cells in different environments. In our bodies, our cells are in what we call an isotonic situation. That means that the solute concentration outside of our cells is equivalent to the solute concentration inside our cells. In that case, the rate of water coming into the cell is balanced by the rate of water coming out of the cell, our cells maintain a stable volume. And that is a isotonic situation. What happens if we put our cells in a high salt solution like seawater? Seawater has a much higher concentration of salt or solute molecules than the solute molecules inside our cells. As a result, now the water inside our cells will go out. Our cells will lose volume and they will shrivel up, as shown here. The opposite is if we put our cells into a beaker of distilled water. And that is called a hypotonic, hypotonic situation. And here, now, since their concentration of water is much higher outside the cell than inside the cell, or the concentration of solute inside the cell is higher than outside the cell, water molecules will come into the cell from the outside. Our cells will swell up, they will gain volume, and unless, like a plant cell, there is a cell wall to restrain this cell swelling, water will continue to come into the cells trying to equalize uh, solute concentration to the point where 
our cell membranes can't expand anymore and our cells will burst open.